It's an app that nicely blends the mechanical traditions of James Bond's contemporary wristwatches with the technology of QBranch. My name is Del Deaton, author creator of JamesBondWatches.com. In this video, we're here to take a look at the Omega app on an iPhone 4. First featured on the Apple App Store in August of 2010, its current release is version 1.1 at 78.8 megabytes. Icon and name are clean, easily recognizable, and consistent with corporate branding, of course. A brief splash screen is followed by a four-part home screen. Starting in the lower middle, you'll see a dissolving transition slideshow with macro views of four models, including the current James Bond watch, a reference 220150 Seamaster Planet Ocean focused on his patented helium release valve. Upper middle is a four-part navigation menu. Tap on Gents Collection, then Seamaster. The model worn by Agent 007 in Quantum of Solace comes up first under Planet Ocean. Want more details? Tap on the red plus sign or swipe up. Minus or swipe down to return to the lead photo. Back returns you to the Seamaster menu. The 45.5 mm case that introduced Daniel Craig as James Bond in Casino Royale is under the Planet Ocean Big Size section. Once again, the timekeeper for our man is on top. Here, as elsewhere, simply tap on Add to Favorites if you want to single it out for your individual recall. Prefer the traditional blue bezel, blue dial Seamaster? Tap on 300M chronometer and the reference 222080 similar to what Mr. Craig wore as Bond in the latter half of Casino Royale comes up. Back on the home page now and we'll check out Omega News. An updated feed of the last 20 items appears latest at the top. Here's the Bloodstone release from a couple of weeks ago. Of course, we've already covered that on the James Bond Watches blog. Thumbnails are at the bottom. Tap to see any of these full screen on your iPhone. Tap again to bring up its menu and again on the I for captioning. Unfortunately, you can't zoom in on any of them closer. Before leaving this release, I'll note that the 007.com URL is live. Tap and you'll be asked if you really want to leave this app and open it in Safari. Returning once again to the home page, be sure to check out the Goodies tab. Wallpapers takes you to a series of images, each of which provides an option of putting it in your iPhone 4 camera roll via Add to Photos tab. You do this outside the app, of course, from the settings, wallpaper, and camera roll menus. Also under goodies, check out the DeVille Hour Vision Time tab. The watch dial not only runs to your local time, with the right month and date showing, but features a second hand that moves true to the sweep of its proprietary Omega Calendar 8611 coaxial mechanical movement. Want to look inside? Tap on Case Back. Thanks to your iPhone accelerometer, you can now actually show your friends how the self-winding watch on your wrist is working. The magnifying glass at the upper right of the home screen accesses a nice search function. If you have a particular reference number in mind, enter it in the field at the top, or specify parameters with one or more of the six filter fields on this page. Finally, there's a store locator on the bottom of the app homepage here. Browse all stores if you're planning to travel. Or, better yet, allow the app to access your location and tap on the Find a Store Near You tab. Based here at the home offices of JamesBondWatches.com, it immediately brings up Lewis Jewelers, my local authorized dealer. You can even have it provide you with directions if you'd like. Check out my James Bond Watches blog for August 24, 2010, and you'll see my complete first impression review of the iPhone 4 Omega app. For now, thanks for watching.